ladies and gentlemen, just before we commence the kickoff of the second division grand final, we ask you to pose for a moment. Silence. Uh, Warragama seniors would, uh, lost a club legend last week in uh, Jim Lord. And uh, as a testament to Jim, we'd ask you to join us in a moment's silence. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ferguson, Ale Moata'ane in Tamariki, and for King Campbelltown City, Scala, Mohammed Khanj, Abraham Khanj, Macquarie, Borchard, Barnes and McMahon, the Halves, Tonga, Kiriaku, Woodward, Grinkich, Bostock, and Barlow in the forward pack. And we've got an error from Campbelltown City who are running left to right. Campbelltown City have made an error in the opening set of the match. So they will turn over possession, 35 minutes each way, time off for injury in this final match on Saturday evening. Running a little bit behind schedule here due to an earlier uh, match that went to Golden Point. The Oaks going down to, to Picton 12-8 in the League Tag 2 Grand Final. The League Tag 1 Grand Final, which concluded not that long ago, saw... Campbelltown City, the Kangaroos defeat Norellan 16-14. They're looking for the daily double here, the Kangaroos, but the Wombats are on the charge early. Nathan Priesty to within 10 metres of the line. It's their first set of the match. We've just ticked over a minute on the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. There's Porter out wide for Hart. Hart can't get through the line. He's tackled two metres out. Five in western side. Cool evening, a little bit gusty wind. As we see Tele Moa to Arnie. They keep it out wide on the right-hand side. There's King for the corner. No! Into touch centimetres from the line. Great defence there from, Campbell, from Campbelltown City. The player on the outside. I think that might have been Wardger on the outside. Made the run for the corner but was put into touch. Centimetres out. So we'll have a scrum feed to Campbelltown City. Ten out from their own line. 20 in from touch. Eastern side of the field. We've had two minutes first half. MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. No score in the league tag in the second division grand final. Campbelltown City will get out of their own end now. Much cooler, calmer evening than it was a few hours ago. The wind playing havoc this afternoon. Now the uh, sun has set fully. Been quite a pleasant evening. Temperature in the high teens, I suspect. Maybe the low 20s. And uh, a very cool evening, a light breeze, a lot of short sleeve shirts and uh, t-shirts around at Harvey Shepherd this evening as we see the Wombats having to defend here, Campbelltown City on halfway with big Josh Tonga. Slow to his feet, big Josh, he'll play it now. Barnes fires it out, that's the 18 in Jonah Bailey. Bailey up the middle, good run from him, he'll play 42 metres out, arm goes up last tackle. To the left-hand side, Barnes puts it high into the night sky. Morgan would knock it back, picked up by Campbelltown City. This will be the opening try of the grand final. 
as they got down and score. I've got a feeling that might be Craig Scala with the try on three minutes. So Campbelltown City start to win Friday. Friday. Craig Scala for the City Kangaroos. Takes a score to 4 0 with a kick to come. <laughs> Opening try through there, fullback Craig Scala. So now the Kangaroos in front, 4 0. Can they find the extras from mid range on the left? Drew McQuarrie is the kicker for City. Is that a reasonable final series for the Kangaroos? What can he do here? The conversion attempt is waved away, so unsuccessful. Indicators curse strikes again. So 4 0 it remains. We've had four minutes for well, successful half. attempt by Drew McCorry keeps the score at the scoreboard. 4 0. Wombats back to halfway in their traditional sky blue, black, and white. White V in the black sides. Campbell Town City in their traditional royal blue and gold. The restart goes deep. Very deep, taken by big Josh Tonga on his own try line. He doesn't have a lot of power in that left leg. He's in a lot of trouble and made a stuttering run 15 metres into the field of play. The three plays it on the first. They come to the right-hand side now. The crowd in attendance here at Harvey Shepherd Field. Lined along the, west, along the eastern touch line and good numbers on the western and southern end of the ground. A few at the northern end as well, so good crowd in attendance. The grand final day, part one. We're off to the stadium tomorrow for part two. Under 18s from 11.30, Nitton, Rowan and Picton. 110 reserve grade. It's Oran Park and Mittagong. And then from 3.15, the first great grand final. Picton and the Oaks do battle. In the town city, have it. Jake Barnes, stuttering run, pops it out the back. Woodward shovels it on. McMahon has numbers on the right. Kicks downfield. Not a bad looking kick taken by the Wombats. On the western side of the field, Bruce Borgia does well to claim that 20 metres out from his own line, seven from touch on the western side of the field. And that's very similar to the old Cronulla jersey for those familiar with it. Sky blue with the white V and the black. The kangaroos and the royal blue and gold. And easy to, to distinguish these two teams apart. As we see a good run up the middle, a great run up the middle from Nathan Priest. He had a man on his outside and it's gone to ground. He did all the hard work himself, Nathan Priest. He drew Chilinotti Moa to Arne, who put it down colder than about this morning. So it'll be a scrum feed to Campbelltown City, 30 metres out in centre field at the northern end. All that hard work amounting to nothing for the Kangaroos. Opponents in Warragamba, they made the big run downfield. Nathan Presti charged away. But the ball on the inside went to ground. And no joy for the Kangaroos. They now have the ball 35 metres out from their own line. They go to the left-hand side, trying to make the penalty. Referee Alex Ward not buying. So they come to the centre of the ground. Now Kangaroos, that looks like Woodward going for a run. Eight short of halfway. Ball comes loose in the tackle. Referee says play on, picked up by the Wombats. 4-0 on the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. Campbelltown City leads. Warragam the first penalty of the evening for Rugrats Rugby goes to the Wombats. So the first penalty of the night on our Rugrats Rugby stats sheet goes to designated home side in Warragamba as we get underway for this second division grand final seven minutes gone first half City 4 leads Warragamba nil but Warragamba on the attack early stages what can they do here attacking to our left in the first half inside the quarter 15 metres out there's a good run from 
Uh, Bo Skibberis towards the line, only a few metres out when he plays it now. He goes to the left-hand side, through the hands, the Porter brothers handle, and it goes forward, a forward pass there from Warragamba, and does all that hard work, so another scrum to Kangaroos. Scrum count 3-1 for Rugrats, rugby penalty counts. Well, there's only been the one whistle so far going the way of the Wombats. Oh, Rugrats rugby. Kangaroos done well to hold on early stages, first half. The lead by four points to nil. MacArthur insulation scoreboard. Thank you, our sponsors for 2018 MacArthur Insulation, John Stoneman and Co. Lawyers, Doug Rach Rugby and Kip McGrath or Allen. Keep on top of the NRL this evening as well. Kick will find the line, will it? No, it stays in the field of play. Warragam to come away with it. Now Lachlan towards halfway. He won't get through the line. And good defence there from the Kangaroos to hold on. Going there from Warragam up towards the City 40. We'll keep it on top of the NRL when they kick off this evening. Still 40 odd minutes to kick off, so well into the second half of this game tonight. We've got time off 25 22 remaining in the first. Kangaroos in front by four. On the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard. And it looks like we'll have a penalty going to the Wombats once again. Second penalty to them in the evening. And it's referee Alex Ward. Where he starts play. Signaling a punch in the tackle. 2 1 the penalty count for Rugrats Rugby. Is the ruling. Kick will find the line only about 10 or 12 metres from the line. We've had 10 minutes first half for MacArthur Insulation. City 4, Warragamba nil. The batters are on the charge though. Moa to Arne. That's Ali Moa to Arne. Takes it forward, still fighting for every metre. He's only two or three from the line. Just to the right of centre field. He'll play it now. Porter, that's Kyle. Takes it, gives it off to Bo Skibberis for the line. Can they stop Big Bo? Yes, they can. They drive him back centimetres from the line. He'll play it now to the left-hand side. Craig Porter gets it from Kyle. Now to the outside. Now a lock when they have to score in the corner. They do. Great try to Sean Hart. Sean Hart is in for the Kangaroos opponents in Warragamba. 11 minutes gone in the first half. And we're level at four in the second division grand final of 2018. Warragamba Warragam 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 takes the score to 4-0. 4-0 it is. On the replay, John Scott and Co. Lewis. Level 1-1-10 points straight. Campbell's down. It came to the left-hand side. They worked it back to the open side. Left. Found some space. And Sean Hart had to step his man to get across in the corner. But did enough to get over. Smack down in the corner from Sean Hart. Takes the score to 4-0. For the kick to come. 4 with a kick to come from Boyd on the left. With a kick on the left hand side. About 20 metres out. Only a handful in from touch. Western side of the ground. And that looks like it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Ale Moa to Arnie with the kick. Give the Wombats the lead. No, that's across the face of goal as well. The score remains 4 all. So it's four all. Wombats. City Kangaroos. Ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder, please do not bring any alcohol into the ground. It will be confiscated. It is part of the licensing requirements here at Kirkham Park. If you would like something to drink, there is plenty of drinks available at the field. As a courtesy to the Camden Rams, please refrain from bringing alcohol into the ground. Under 18s at 11.30, Norellan and Picton. Reserve grade just after one, Oran Park and Mittagong. First grade at 3.15, Picton and the Oaks will be there from 11 tomorrow to bring you all the action, colour, excitement and drama of Grand Final Day 2018.
Roy Gamble off the long run. Back over their own 10 on the first. Tonga in there making a tackle along with a couple of others. Play it now to the left-hand side. There's a good run upfield. That's a great run upfield. And the play the ball is a sloppy one. Referee says, no, that's an error against Roy Gamba. So a scrum feed goes to the Kangaroos once again, this time in decent field position. Probably the first time they've had an opportunity to attack in the opening 13 minutes. As we tick past that mark in the first half. Very mild evening in the MacArthur for grand final weekend. Mike Sheen with you on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Your home for rugby league. Barnes to the left hand side. Finds Mohammed Abraham Carnage. And his brother on the outside didn't use him. Pulled down 18 metres out. Hard up on the eastern touchline, the left hand side. They come back to the right. Barnes takes on the line. Good run there. Jake Barnes won't get through 11 metres out. Out of dummy half, they go to the right-hand side. Big Dean Woodward winds up the frame. Within three or four of the line, he'll play it now. Back it comes. Here's the lock forward in Adam Barlow. Barlow takes it forward, gets it out the back. Good second phase here for the Kangaroos. Still only 10 metres out from the line. They'll play it 15 in western side. Back to the right, the left they go. Big Josh Tonga, three and four there to stop him. He's only a couple of metres from the line when he plays it now. Arm up from Ward, last tackle. Back it comes, through the hands. Barnes running a flat line, he won't get through there. Here's a posse of Wombats there to stop him. He's held up. Referee says we'll take it out to the 10. I think that'll be a turnover for the Wombats it is on the last. So well done, Warragamba holding on. It's four all in the grand final. Warragamba in Campbelltown City on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Tomorrow, the stadium awaits for grand final day, part two. And read our previews of today's matches online. MacArthurSportsRadio.com will post tomorrow's previews later this evening here on MSR. So, we're sitting back enjoying the footy tonight at home. We'll give you something to read during the back end of that tonight and get you ready for grand final day tomorrow from the stadium. Kick downfield from Roy Gamba. That's a good set. Completing the kick. Scala back to his own in goal. Wheels around at the northern end. Takes on the line. Won't come out the other side though. And he stopped 10 metres out from his own line. Go out of dummy half. Good run up the middle. Makes seven or eight metres. 19 and a half to go first half. Just over 15 minutes gone. In the second division grand final. The last of three today. Back up for three more tomorrow. Dave McDonald will join me in commentary for the 18s in reserve grade. Shane Turnbull will join me as well for first grade. We'll have a full team on deck. Plus we'll announce our team of the year. A lot of discussions gone into that one, I can assure you. That will attract a lot of controversy from the Group 6 community. Hope you're enjoying the coverage on MSR, wherever you are. If you're on social media, head to Group 6 League Live on Facebook. Let us know if you're enjoying the coverage and where you are on this Saturday evening in the MacArthur. And you're the best in local football from Camden this evening. Now Gamble with a scrum feed. The kickers found the line about 25 metres out from their own line on the eastern side of the ground. So now have the scrum feed now. Warrior Gamble will take it to the left hand side ball has been stripped one on one has it yes Craig Skyler has come up with it for the Kangaroos here's a chance for them 30 metres out Abraham Carnes to the right hand side to within 22 metres gets cartwheeled over the top and slung to ground on the 20 he'll play a 10 in western side there's Barlow up the middle for another 5, 6, 7 make it 10 good run there from the lock forward plays it 10 metres out and wins the penalty as well Good work there from the number 13 to win the penalty. Fought hard and won the penalty in the end. Approaching the midway point of the first half here at Harvey Shepherd Field this evening. Breeze just picking up again, just a fraction. Blustery conditions here at Camden this evening. Chris Bostock up the middle, good run from him. He'll play it now, only a metre out from the line. 
at the southern end. Back it comes. Barnes at first receiver finds Woodward. He can't get through. Moved down five metres out in front of the right hand upright. To the left hand side. Barnes. Scala. Short ball. Macquarie. Can he get there? Yes, I think he did enough. He's celebrating and so on. On the MacArthur Insulation scoreboard, that replay for John Stonham and Co. Lawyers. Level 1, 110, Queen Street, Campbelltown. Bradley bringing you Group 6 League Live 2018. And we thank John and the team for their support in 2018. And we also thank Danica and the team at Kipper Grider, Ellen, and Dennis and his team at MacArthur Insulation and Rugrats Rugby. Thank you, one and all, for your support in 2018 of Group 6 League Live on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Approaching 15 minutes left in the first half. Looks like Matthew Kennedy about to go on for the Wombats in 17. McQuarrie to try and have the extras. Five in, 22 out. Eastern side kick is on its way. Looks good off the boot. Flags are up. Flags are up. He makes well, it 10 points to four <laughs> over, the can, over the Wombats for the Kangaroos. Drew McQuarrie converts his own try and takes a score to 10-4 City Kangaroos over the Warragamba Wombats. And we've got 15 minutes remaining in the first half of the grand final. <laughs> so the Kangaroos lead 10 points to four. So the Kangaroos now having to defend their own line up to over the 30. Good run there from the Kangaroos. They play it now, 35 out from their own line. And the coverage wherever you are tonight on the cut, sportsradio.com. Any of us was on board, but have you along. You see the bats now with the ball, Warragamba on the attack. There's Tamariki with it inside the 30. He'll play it about 23 metres from the line. They come to the left-hand side. There's Big Corey Shipley taking it forward within a couple of the line. The Wombats looking to restore parity very quickly. Porter for his brother. That's Kyle for Craig. Now out wide. They've got Sean Hart already with one to his name this evening. Can he get a second dot on this occasion? He'll play it three metres out from the line. Back to the right hand side they come out of double half. Now a Lockman through the hands. There's Skibberis up the middle. Good run from Big Bowie Skibberis. Only a few metres out. He'll play it now. Priestley, dummy half. Famous name in Wombat's colours. The ball goes to ground. Tamariki puts it down. Campbelltown City come up with it. 15 out from their own line. That's a zero tackle. As we see the Kangaroos now holding on. Wombats had numbers to the right. Tamariki had a look to his right hand side and spilled his lollies before he got them from the shopkeeper. Hamilton City now, 26 metres from their own line. Here's Woodward giving it off. Football hit and spin there at Macquarie, taking it forward. And winning the penalty as well. Wins the penalty as well. That's 3 2 on our sheet for, McCarth for Rugrats Rugby. Town City seem to have the momentum. They're in front 10-4. 13 to go, first half. Kick will find the line five metres inside. Campbelltown City's attack in the half. Attack taken now. Campbelltown City 35 metres from the line. Barnes at first receiver. It's the 15 in Dunatow. He's been good the last couple of weeks. Dunatow plays at 32 metres from the line. Back they come right-hand side. McMahon, that was a flat ball. 
down Barlow, who gets back, slams in a big hit there, Jai Ferguson, under the rib cage, up you go, down he comes. To the right hand side goes Abraham Khan, had brother Mohammed on the outside, couldn't get the ball away. Set move coming here by the looks of it, Bostock, barking orders, Barnes gets it from McMahon. From McManus for the out in a second. Off the upright, try Campbelltown City. Can you believe it? Off the upright. Just punches it over. He's got successful conversion by Drew Macquarie takes the score to 16-4 in the first half of the, in the second division group six country rugby league grand final. Laura Gamber in the grand final of 2018. And Danny Gallagher lead his side to victory tonight. At the moment, you would say yes. Ten and a half to go, first half. The minor premiers in Warragamba under a lot of pressure here this evening. The Kangaroos now with it from the restart over the quarter. Driven back in a solid tackle. And they had 22 metres out from their own line. And his big Josh Tonga taking it forward. Over the, the 20 towards the 30. Barnes lays it inside. That looks like it would go for a run. It is. He'll play at 14 short of halfway centre field. 10 to go first half. Hamilton City 14. Warragam before from MacArthur insulation. In fact, make that 16-4. Hamilton City out of dummy half. That's Mohamed Khan getting it from his brother Abraham down the Western touchline. On the city right. Mohamed plays it. Barnes, McMahon, Barnes kicks. High, taken in goal. So back to the 20 they come. Back to the 20 comes Warragam, but they dodge a bullet there. Nine and a half to go, first half. MacArthur insulation scoreboard. 16 4 Wombats. Trail the Kangaroos. Here at Harvey Shepherd Field this evening. Hope you're enjoying the coverage with Mike Sheen on MacArthur Sports Radio.com. MacArthur's sports leader bringing you Grand Final Day 2018. Gamba now through Shipley towards halfway, fighting for every metre, and they'll get the penalty. The Wombats, they get the whistle. Inside the 10 is the ruling. Penalty count is 3 all for Rugrats Rugby. Can't go find the line either. It doesn't find the line. The City fans celebrate. Hajj, that's Mohammed, rips into the line. He'll play at 33 metres out from the line. There's, looks like Dunnertown taking it forward. It is eight short of halfway. He'll play it. To the right hand side, they come again. Well, he picks up as Abraham Kanj over halfway. Three there to greet him. He'll be back slammed. Nine metres inside. Warragamba territory, western side. 15 in from touch. Bostock runs it at the line. Takes the tackle 32 metres out. 8 10 to go first half. Now to the left hand side, McMahon for Barnes. Takes on the line. Two there to stop him. 20, 50, uh, 25 out centre field. Arm up last tackle. Back it comes. McMahon, rubber kick into the end goal. It is sit up nicely taken there by Mauer Lachlan. He did very well. Hope charges coming through in blue and gold. Did well to hold on. At the back, it's the Wombats come out of their own end. 7.40 to go in the first half. And it's 16-4, Kangaroos leading. And the McArthur insulation scoreboard. 
And Corey Gamble's lost it in the tackle. Been lost in the tackle. So another error from the Wombats, not having a good night at the office. Scrum feed to the Kangaroos. 20 metres out, 20 metres in. Just inside, eastern side of the ground. The Kangaroos left. Seven and a quarter to go in the first half. Out by a dozen. Certainly not what was expected. Campbelltown City have fought their way into the grand final. Warwick Gamba had the week off as minor premiers. They beat City in the major semi and the form line indicated it would be an easy win to the Wombats, but form counts for nothing coming into a grand final. Danny, Danny Gallagher's men in front by a dozen. As we approach half time, Dunatow within six metres. He'll play it there. To the left hand side, Barnes finds it wide. Finds a runner out there, that might have been McQuarrie. They'll play it now, that'll be four in the set. Out of dummy half, hit and spin, and the ball's been lost over the line. So it'll be a knock on from Campbelltown City. He'll be back to the 20 for Warwick Game with seven tackles at their disposal. And they will play it now. We'll take the tap on halfway, on the halfway mark of the 20 metre line. Brandon Sabina, makes it 12, 13 metres, plays it 33 metres out from the line. On the right hand side, good run there from Warwick Gamble, that looked like a high tackle, referee said OK. Penalty goes to the Wombats though. To the Wombats for laying all over the tackle. Starting to work their way back into the game, the Wombats. They find the line 38 metres out. On the eastern side, they're right. Up the middle goes Warrigan to through Telemoa to Arne. Inside the 30, he'll play 29 metres out, looking for a quick play to work. Probably won't get it. Now they come to the left hand side. Good one there. Just over five to go first half. One much need to score to be in the game. Porter finds runners on the outside. Gonna step their way through the line, Warragamba. Only 10 metres out on the attack. Inside five to go first half. Now a lock on the dummy half. There's the second row in Jai Ferguson up the middle. Nine metres out. Priestley to the right. Porter finds Moa to Aina. They've got numbers out wide and they're going to score. I think that was telling Lottie Moa to Aina who got it over for the Wombats. Four and a half to the break. That's a big boost in the context of the match for the Wombats. The try to the Warragamba Wombats takes their score to eight. Currently trailing City Kangaroos 16 for the kick to come. For the first half of the 2018 Point ball game. 22 metres out. Tim is on its way. Struck it well. Flags are up. Flags are up. Great kick there. Ali Moa to Arne to make it 16. Successful conversion from the sideline line from the Warragamba Wombats. Takes their score to 10, currently trailing City Kangaroos, who are leading on 16. Insulation scoreboard. The extras are added from wide on the right. Three minutes inside that. Yeah, 16 10 as we get back underway. It's basically play here the last time. First half, you would think. 
Ball's been knocked back. Not one for Warren Gamble, so City with the scrum feed. City with the scrum feed, 25 metres out. 20 in, west and east inside of the field. Two and a half to go, first half, 16-10 from the Carter insulation. As we see the scrum pack, we've got time off with 2 11 left in the first. We'll approach 7.30 Sydney time. Kangaroos in front by six. Like to start 2 11 remaining on our clock first half. There we go. That's the signal from the referee Alex Ward. They go short side, Campbell Town City from the scrum win. Had six in the first half to the Wombats, two. And we're looking for a break here at half time by Gamba. Going to find a way through. <coughs> they will play it now. Campbell Town City on the attack, very close to the line, only a metre out on the eastern side of the field. Back it comes. Straight up the middle, good run there, only a couple of metres from the line. The Warragamba defence holding strong for now. Back it comes, McMahon for Barnes. Puts a little grubber kick through, Saguna there to clean up, did very well, Brandon Saguna. Read that beautifully, 90 seconds to go first half. You would think that would be enough to get them through with a six point deficit, but uh, Shipley having a good run there, Corey Shipley over the 20. Now the Wombats down the eastern touchline. Took over the western touchline, over the halfway inside the 40. 35, 37 metres out when they're eventually stopped. Appealing for a penalty. 105 to go first half. Shocking ball out of dummy half. They'll take it up the middle. That looks like uh, Kennedy in the 17. 40 metres from the line. And they'll get the penalty as well, Warragamba. They'll get the penalty as well on the stroke of half time. Penalty count is 5 3 for MacArthur Insulation. 40 seconds to go, first half. What have the Wombats got left? Can they go level at the break? It'll only be about three tackles left by the time they take the tap. 25 metres out. There's Kennedy up the middle on the first. Plays it 15 metres out from the line. 12 in western side. And we've got time off. Oh, that's, yeah, I think he's ruled and lost. That's half time. That is half time here at Harvey Shepherd Field. Hamilton City leads Warragamba 16 points to 10 at the break. In the second division.